Welcome here today, we're going to show you step by step how to build and install the Stratco Red Workshop. First and foremost, importantly, we've got our safety gear here ready so we can begin. And a set of printed instructions to guide us through the process. So within the Red Workshop there are seven boxes, so just make sure before you begin that you've done your count and you're not missing anything using the instructions. So there is an accessory box as well, so make sure you go through that and you've got everything and you're not missing anything before you start. All of the boxes come really well packaged ready for transport, they're strapped and then all the large cabinets have corner protectors to minimise any damage during transport. Carefully unpack the contents of each box. Lay the two-door cabinet on its rear with the doors face up. Inside the two-door cabinet is an overhead cabinet. Lay the tall cabinet on its rear with the door face up. Inside the tall cabinet are the remaining overhead cabinets and four shelves. A helpful tip for the smaller cabinets is to lie them upside down on a safe item like cardboard, which will make it easier to install the legs. On the seven drawer cabinet, attach the four fixed legs to the leg mounts using M6 bolts. Secure the adjustable legs to the fixed legs. And now we continue attaching the fixed legs and the adjustable legs to the tool cabinet. Little tip, make sure the second nut is wound right back down on the adjustable legs so they go all the way in. Continue installing the fixed legs and adjustable legs to the two door cabinet. Now we're ready to turn over the first cabinet and put it in place. You'll need your second pair of hands to give you a hand with this. The cabinets will be moved later during the installation, so they do not have to be in their final position yet. Turn over the seven drawer cabinet and put into position, away from the two drawer cabinet. So now for the six drawer trolley, we want to tip it over onto its back. And inside this unit you'll find the wheels and handles in the bottom drawer. Now I'm just going to put the handles on for the six drawer trolley so that you can easily pull this one in and out of your workshop. Now for the six drawer cabinet we want to attach the four sets of casters with the supplied bolts. And a quick tip for this one. Make sure that you use the two casters that have got the brakes attached on the front set of wheels. You should be able to get them in finger tight and then tighten them up with this spanner. And now we want to turn over the six drawer cabinet. Again, a two person lift. get to put on your protective mat as well. And once again, you'll need a two-person lift to lift up the single door cabinet ready to put into position. Once you've got the two door and seven drawer cabinets into position, make sure the distance between the two is 680 millimetres. If installing the red workshop against a wall, it is best to move them roughly a metre away from the wall so the posts are easier to install. The red workshop can be moved later to sit against the wall if required. Now we need to attach the cabinets together from behind with the supplied posts and we're going to line it up with the holes on both cabinets and we're going to secure with the M5 bolts supplied. With the 12 bolts we want to secure the post with at the back here, we want to make sure that we leave them loose and then at the very end we'll come back along and tighten them up once they're all in place. And 
now we want to install the two back panels. We'll start with the top one, aligning with the top of the seven drawer cabinet and attached with the supplied screws. And now we repeat the same process to attach the bottom back panel. And now for the third post, easier to attach to the two door cabinet first and then we'll finish off the back panels. And now we attach the two back panels using the bolts supplied. And now we install the final post to the end of the two-door cabinet. Install the first perforated back panel using the M5 bolts supplied. Leave the bolts slightly loose at this stage. You'll notice once the first perforated panel is in, it does leave a small gap at the bottom but this is then fixed when the bench top is put in place. Install the remaining five back panels. Now we are installing the three overhead cabinets using the M5 bolts. You'll need two people again, one to lift into place while the other secures it from behind. Now we want to attach the baseboards to the bottom of every cabinet with the supplied bolts. If you need a little bit extra room to get the supplied baseboards in, you can open up the cabinets and then you have the ability to adjust the feet with the supplied Allen key. And now that we've put back into its final position, we're ready to put in place the timber bench top and then we'll finish by fixing it to wall with the supplied fixings. And now we're going to put the bench top into place. And because we've kept the back slot panels slightly loose, we should be able to lift them up a little bit to get the bench top snugly underneath. Now we will attach the bench top to the four upright posts at the back. There's also one extra screw that attaches through the upright cabinet. Use five M4 by 20 screws supplied to secure it in place. And now that everything's in position and secured properly, we need to come back along the back and tighten all the bolts that we put in before. Okay, now I'm going to put in the two shelves for the two door. First, I'm going to install the shelf brackets. Now I've got the four brackets in, I should just be able to pop the shelf in. 